you don't have kids. As you get older, your obligations increase. So you, the, and once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time t to do that uh, before you before you have those obligations. So I would I would encourage you to take risks now. Do something bold. Um, you won't regret it. Um, I mean, I should say like the, the when. When we started uh, SpaceX and Tesla, I mean, I really thought the probability of success was very low. I mean, it wasn't like I think, oh, we'll definitely be successful. I thought, I thought we'd be like maybe 10% likely. Um, and and like, we came very close to both companies not succeeding in 2008. You know, we had the we had, we'd had three failures of the SpaceX rocket, um, so we were zero for three. Um, we had the crazy financial re recession, like the Great Recession. Um, the Tesla financing round had fallen apart because it's like, pretty hard to raise money for the startup car company if GM and Chrysler are going bankrupt. Um, but, and um, you know, unfortunately, at the end of 2008, the, the fourth launch, which was that was the last launch we had money for, uh, worked for SpaceX. Um, and then we, we closed the Tesla financing round is uh, Christmas Eve 2008, last hour of the last day that it was possible. You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. Neil Armstrong, Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial spaceflight in the way that you're developing it, and I wonder what you think of that. I was very sad to see that, uh, because those guys are, yeah, you know, those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their mind. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes. And to see them casting stones in your direction. It's difficult. Did you expect them to cheer you on? So they're hoping they would. What are you trying to prove to them? What I'm trying to do is, is to make a, a significant difference in in spaceflight and, and, and help make spaceflight accessible to, to almost anyone. And I, I, I would uh, hope for as much support in that direction as we, as we can receive. Uh, when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. How much of your personal fortune have you poured into this? A uh, hundred million dollars. A hundred million dollars yes. into something that you did not believe would work at the beginning. Yes. Critics say you can't do this. Your answer to them is, we've done it. He's done it in partnership with NASA, which has given SpaceX technical advice and a contract worth up to $1.6 billion. It's kind of amazing that this window of opportunity is open for life to go beyond Earth. And we just don't know how long that window is going to be open. But the thing that gets me most fired up is that creating a self-sustaining civilization on Mars it would be the greatest adventure ever, ever in human history. It would be so exciting to wake up in the morning and think that that's, that's what's happening. <laughs>